Hello everyone, I'm the Silver Gamer, and welcome back to European Solace 4 as Venezia. Yes, welcome back to the war that France started. God, France. God. I mean, it, uh, we are really in a bad place right now, only because our manpower is complete crap. Um, it, it fell down the tubes, and we didn't recover it before this war started. And this war is for basically everything around us. The Iberian Peninsula, the Italian Peninsula, Hungary, although they're probably going to leave soon. Uh, so we are really going to be screwed here, and we probably won't be able to do anything. What I'm going to do, though, because people keep telling me to do it, even though really it... I don't think it really matters, to be honest, because no matter what, I think that I'm going to spend more money on replacing the soldiers if I consolidate them now, right? So if I consolidate my forces, what that's going to do is all these zeros are going to go away. And it's going to fill up, basically, the remaining soldiers, whatever, um, with whatever they have in here already. And I'm going to have to rebuy these units later. And I think I'm going to have to spend more money in total than I will just clicking this little button. But, who knows, I'm going to do it anyway, so there we go. Consolidation. Yes, I'll get my manpower back up sooner, but, I don't know, I think I'm going to spend more money buying units than not. That's just my, uh, my opinion. And we'll find out. I mean, if not, then I apologize and I take it all back. But, uh, I don't know. I think that's just the way that we're headed. Uh, oh yes, we have an idea group that I want to grab. And I think that I want to grab humanist ideas. Only because humanist ideas are really damn good. Especially for us, right? So we have, uh, religious unity. We're gonna need religious unity, especially if we want to come down here. Uh, what else? National revolt risk minus two. That's fantastic, especially right now as well. Tolerance of heretics plus three, that's great. Years of nationalism minus ten, right, yeah, that's gonna really help us out um, with conquered provinces. Accepted culture threshold minus 50%, that's fantastic. So we don't have to convert many provinces. Better relations over time, and of course, tolerance of heathens. And then of course, the idea cost at the end, which is gonna help us out for the future of whatever we do. So I'm gonna grab this. It's gonna be our first admin uh, idea as well. What's over here? Uh, create an army for our nation. Yeah, I really want to do that, but I, I, that's going to take a long time. I will do that mission only because it's the best one that we have, so let's just do that. Alright, so we're currently sieging out Serbia. And we're letting France lose because it looks like they're losing. Fantastic. Just don't count me into this war. I'm, I'm not. Uh, yeah, you may not negotiate for us. If they ask me for a white piece though, France, I think I'm going to have to take it. Uh, I, d I can't risk losing everything. Come on. Come on, wipe him out. Get him. Oh, what's it? Muscovy declared war on Lithuania. Cleansing of heresy. Good. Come on down. Well, maybe don't. No, stay up there. I don't know. You're fine. You're my ally. I don't care anymore. <laughs> as long as you stay that way. Alright, Austria. Repelling the, uh, the Hungarian forces. Oh, there's a huge battle going on down here. And I don't think they're going to be able to make it in time. Come on! Austria! Go, 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 go! Yep. Yes! Something good just happened. I don't know who just joined in there. Oh! That's fantastic. But they're all coming to me now. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look. Election time. Lorenzo Modigliano is done. Right. Okay, who was he? Because it's been a little while. And I'm sorry if I sound a little bit sick. It's because I am. Uh, I don't know if I'm getting over something or if I'm getting into something. But my allergies, and I'm just so stuffed up, and, and I get a cough, and... <laughs> uh, no, it's just, I don't know. Something's going around. I don't like it. Andrea Pordenon. Or, yeah, I think, I think so. I want to focus on trade ideas more than defensive, so, yeah. We'll grab, um, <clears throat> sorry. Andrea Pordenon. Good. In fact, we really should grab this guy, but honestly, it's... Do we have loans? No. Okay. Then we can actually grab this guy, then. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's grab trade efficiency plus uno. Good. I don't know why I said uno. <laughs> that was stupid. Oh, boy. All right, who do you have out here? You have a bunch of light ships and some galleys. Well... No, that'd be stupid. <laughs> I've got more transports than anything else. That'd be stupid. And of course, we have these guys that are trapped on this island over here that I can't get over, sadly, until the end of the war. 
Oh no. Come on, guys. You gotta push them back. What what is this war for? Alright, the Siege of Lombardia. Yes. I think what I'm gonna do is after I siege out Serbia, I'm gonna head over here to Lombardia, see if I can siege that out. If not, then I'm going to Venezia. If I see the slightest bit of trouble over here in Lombardia, I'm running away. Because I don't have the manpower to take care of this stuff. No more do I have the forces now. Twelve is my limit now. Just gonna point that out. Because we consolidated forces, so I'm not gonna get those units back. Oh, 13, sorry. Come on, siege it out. There we go, perfect, thank you. Go to Brescia. Oh, no. Well, yeah, go to Brescia first. And then we're gonna go to Lombardia. I gotta get over there. Just so uh, France doesn't take that in a peace deal or anything. Oh, damn it, Austria. Well, I guess that works too, I suppose. But I need you fighting. You have the manpower to fight, I don't. Alright, uh, religion. Uh, yes. Roads? 18. You know what? I do have forces over here. I, I mm. Mm. <laughs> you know what? Do it. It's fine. Are you dropping units? No, you just have a 47 stack coming through here, Castile. Jesus. My god. Alright, hopefully this kicks out Aust- Yes, it did. Good. Go fight some things elsewhere. In fact, fight Hungary's army, because they're coming down here somewhere. Oh. No. No, 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 no. You better win this. Win this for Mother France. Come on. Do it. Oh, they're going to bring in nice reinforcements. Look at that. Beautiful. In fact, what's the other uh, technology range between these guys? So, 9, 10, 9. Okay, so Castile, or, yeah, Castile has more tech than they do. Damn. Well, we're actually even with uh, Castile right now, so that's good. In fact, let's take a look here. Technically, it looks like Castile is doing worse, considering 8 administrative. And I'm still surprised that England has 6. That's just ridiculous. The Papal State falling behind as well, Milan. It seems like people are falling behind in administrative tech than anything else. Except for Cologne. That's just quite the opposite. Goodness. Well, regardless, we're actually doing better than the... Well... I don't know exactly how you're supposed to judge the Ottoman strength. Because they have their own tech group. So technically 11? You'd think that'd be less than us. But I'm not sure exactly. I don't know how the Ottoman tech group works, as in military-wise. They could be less than us. You know, we could be stronger than them, but I I'm really not sure. Alrighty, well, we didn't lose too much of our main force. In fact, I don't think we lost anything. We got out of that just in time. Oh, Here we go. No! Damn it. Win based on morale. Come on. Ah, oh, damn it. Why'd you leave? <laughs> A lamb is modifier. Uh... Yes. Yeah, do that. That's fine. More money. Oh, 17 a turn. <clears throat> That's... God. It's fantastic. Sorry, guys. I If I cough, I, I apologize. I'll try to cut out most of it, but... It's it's tough right now. Ugh. Come on. You could do it. Push through. All right. Come on. Like I said, win-based... Yes. It was all morale. That's wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. And we're taking Lombardia. So that's great, too. Yep, oh, Aragon's back. Oh, no. 33 stat. Why'd they come down here? Damn it, France. <laughs> you brought them. Oh, damn it. I might have to retreat. That's not going to be good at all. No. No. No, 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 no. I'm going to have to retreat. Yep. Go to Nigeria. And then Parma. Whoa, 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 whoa. And then we're going to send you to Modena. Ferrara. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, go to Ferrara. Go up into that battle. Fantastic. And then head up there because they're gone now. Great. Okay, we got some more score too, which is nice. Ooh. Okay, this is perfect. Sale of titles. I love when this happens. So we can either get gold, which is a bunch of gold, mind you. Or we can grab a... Blah, 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 one plus stability. And that'll help us, definitely. So we're going to do that. Uh, the money's great, but we are making a hefty sum per turn right now. So we'll do that. We can also grab an idea. Well, let's see. 
We are five years ahead, so you know what? Let's do it. One more merchant. And diplomat. Perfect. Now, I should take a look here. All right. So we have one in Venice, you know, gathering trade. We have one in Ragusa transferring, one in Alexandria transferring, and we should also have one in Constantinople transferring as well. Yes, Austria would be nice, but it's not going to send that much down, to be honest. So, yeah, Constantinople. Mario Rovatero. Rover... Roveretto. Roveretto. Uh, sure. Whatever works. <laughs> Whatever floats your boat. Okay, yeah, so taking care of that. So what do they have for forces? 76,000? Well, we have 54,000. We're not looking too good. We have more cannons than them, but we are losing in every other aspect. Navy. Cavalry. Infantry. Yeah, this war is not doing well. In fact, you'd be wise to take this offer considering we're already winning and we haven't even took Lombardia yet. Don't make a stupid move here, France. You're going to lose everything. I'm going to try to take Lombardia, but I can't promise anything. In fact, how the hell do you even have a claim on Lombardia? It's a capital. I just noticed that. What, how do you... <laughs> I'm confused. I really am. Alright, let's just see what we have for war score. We don't have much, do we? No, no we don't. Negative 12, in fact. Okay. Fantastic. Well, France, you're our only hope here. No! God damn. Go get them. Go get them. Oh, thank God, France. Thank God you saved my butt. Alrighty. Whew. Come on, France. Don't you dare lose this. No, no, no. There we go. Lombardia's done. Please peace out. Please. All right, kill them. Good. All right. And we peaced. What was a peace offer? France accepted peace with Castile on the following terms. Castile will release Navarra as a sovereign state and pay 27 ducats. You know what? I'm glad. I am glad the war's over. Uh, mostly because now we have a, a treaty with them, <clears throat> which will last up until... Uh, where's Castile? 1533, so about... Six years. That's not bad. Especially considering they didn't take Lombardia, which I'm happy about. Because France, if they had Lombardia, I would never be able to form Italy. Uh, not unless I took over all of this land in here and then pushed France out, which would probably even still be a lost cause. But I'm glad that that worked out the way it did. So let's go to Istria and just recover our manpower. Please. Now we just recover things and we'll be good to go. I think, at least. Okay, Rhodes is done. Fantastic. Go to Travenia. Thank you. And do that. Uh, yeah, I've got tea right now. I, I drink tea a lot, by the way, guys. I love tea. I'm a tea drinker. I should be from England, but I'm not. <laughs> Alright, um, so this should help my voice for the remainder of the video. I hope. It definitely feels like it does help, at least. Alrighty, we did lose a lot of forces. I'm gonna go ahead and combine, um, both these forces together because they're really not going to do well on their own so we'll do that thank you and protect the trade in uh ragusa yeah go to ragusa there we go 31 more money i'm happy all right so you're going to get on the boat once we uh dock it up and we're going to send you over to istria right over there thank you How's your war doing, Muscovy? Oh. Did you take anything? I... I don't know. Maybe. In fact, yes. Considering Bryansk is... Well, not a core of Muscovy, you could kind of tell that they took that. Same with uh, Smolensk. Yeah, alright, good. Well, I think they can form Russia uh, once they hit 10 administrative, so... Let's go, Muscovy. Let's go, let's do it. I am going to uh, improve relations with them, though, just because I feel like we need to. What else? Uh, Byzantium? No. No, you're fine. We're just going to basically put ourselves on hold for a little while. Make sure that we uh, we take care of the rebels, for the most part, and uh, we worry about our army getting back up again. Alright, there we go. We're up to a size of 19. Blah, blah, up to a size of 19. 
because of the, uh, the Rhodes army. That definitely saved us uh, in terms of repairing our army. You know, bringing it back up to what it was. That'll definitely help us out a little bit. Uh, and Byzantium's going to stay the way it is until we give it back its cores over here in uh, Ottoman land. All in all, not a bad war, though. We definitely proved that we can kind of hold them off for a little while. And actually, surprisingly enough, we gained war score for the longest time. Even though we didn't have Lombardia, which is actually a very, very good sign, considering we were so underpowered compared to them. Especially me. I mean, if I had my stack, I could have probably sieged out some provinces down in here. Uh, but I, that was just insane no matter what. Oh, what's this? Let them bring the wealth of the world to us. Traders look abroad. Right, 10% trade efficiency and 5% trade power abroad. Good. I definitely like that. Okay, we're probably gonna... Oh, a march. Yes, I want to build a march. Right up here? Yeah, that seems like the most. In fact... Well, no, I don't want to put it in Corfu. Yeah, no, put it up here. Right there in Brescia, because I don't think I'm going to be taking Switzerland or Austria anytime soon. So what's going on down here? It looks like Castilian Brazil. Good. I like that. Well, I don't like that, but I don't really have a choice. They usually do that anyways. Uh, Castilian Bermuda, it looks like. And still nobody over here. Alright. Well, Ireland is formed. That's fantastic. Ah, uh, I love Ireland. I really do. In fact... Oh, right. Denmark. That's what I wanted to see if I can grab. They really just don't like us. I'm trying to look for another ally because we still have that one slot open. Oh, actually, we don't. Oh, right. The Mamluks. Oh, I totally neglected them. I'm sorry, guys. You guys are a formidable ally. Formidable? You're yeah, a perfect ally, is what it is. It's got the southern flank covered, especially from the Ottomans. So, oh my god, look at Karakoyanlu. And the Timurids. Ugh, we got some massive horde. And the Oirat! Holy shit. We have some massive hordes out there. Well, Russia, that's all you. <laughs> that's all you, buddy. Alright, who can we improve relations with, you know, in the meantime? I think we should improve relations with Austria. Absolutely. Let's do that. They don't like us at all. Not in the least bit. Alright. And our manpower is coming back up. We're at about uh, 7,500. <clears throat> Perfect. We could probably also build ourselves some armories? No. Man uh, training fields, yes. But I don't know if we should. Let's see. How many more years until we grab the tech? About three. Yeah, no, we're gonna wait to our, uh, you know, till we get of this tech first. Oh! Italian engineer. Okay, so we can either hire the engineer and gain 40 military power, which would be great, or we could just lose 10 prestige, which I don't want to do right now, considering we, we are slowly coming back up anyways. So, hire the engineer. Perfect. We're making about 22 ducats a month. That's fantastic. You know what? Yeah, we'll grab some of these guys. So, 25, 25... I'm only gonna grab the 25 ones for right now, just because it's not worth it to grab the other ones yet. There we go, so about... 75? Yeah. 75 extra manpower that we can add. That's good, I suppose. I mean, all I really care about is the reinforcement rate. So right now, we only have a reinforcement rate of 338 each month. I wanna increase that up tenfold. Ooh. Press issue on Albania. Or lose one stability. Yeah, do that one. That's fine. Alright, we'll grab one more training field right here in Dalmatia. Perfect. And that's going to be it for a little while. I thought that war was going to go so much worse, considering the forces that we had compared to them. But honestly, I was really surprised. It was fantastic. It really was. In fact, we've got some Basque rebels down here. I wonder what that's going to form. Maybe Catalonia or... Uh... Yeah, what is it? What does Basque Rebels form? I have no idea, but we'll find out if they lose. Uh, or if they win, I should say. Trade policy working. Fantastic. More trade efficiency and trade range. Good. Oh, yes. Spread of Reformation. That's perfect. So, Brescia, formerly Catholic. Now, oh no, that's not good. I don't like Reformation. Ew, no, I wanted, <laughs> I wanted freaking Protestant. Damn it. Well, at least it was Catholic before, not not um, Protestant, or else I'd be kind of mad. Yeah, we can't even, because they have the religious zeal, so we can't actually... <sighs> damn it. Oh, well. 
It's fine. Okay, good. So we have Trevenia done, essentially now. We're gonna go to Altenia. Alright, fantastic, that's done. Yep, so Altenia next. Get rid of all these Balkan... problems. <laughs> Balkan, yeah, Trevenia is now zero, that's perfect. Oh, election time, right, yes. Let's see. Tommaso San Paolo, I think so. Uh, yes. Even though I love Alfredo Casanova's last name. <laughs> yeah, Sao Paulo, or San Paulo. We need more diplomacy. In fact, we can grab a military uh, idea, but I'm not going to do that yet. I, I, Like I said, I'm going to wait until the technologies hit, and then we'll go after all those. Well, soon enough, I think when I hit 15, I'm going to try to reinforce the army again. Build it back up. Yeah, we have a 36 force limit, and I definitely want to grab at least most of that back. Now, we have full cavalry. We just need more ca uh, cannons and uh, infantry, basically. Oh, Ukraine formed. Look at that. Lovely. Okay, so that's fantastic. Did that form out of Lithuania or Crimea? I'm not sure. Well, that's good. Actually, considering Lithuania has a claim down here, that means that they had to border this province. So, yes, this was formed out of Lithuania. Alrighty. And they didn't even get Kiev. Tisk tisk. <laughs> That's okay. They get it eventually if they stay in the game, which I hope they do. Okay, let's see. Um, yes, go in here to forces. I'm gonna grab all the cannons that we need. So we need five more cannons. No, six more cannons. Sorry, I'm counting wrong. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So that's it for cannons, and then we'll work on the infantry once we're back up to fifteen. This is good, though. Repairing the army. Oh, the Hans have declared war in Mecklenburg. Okay, well, good luck, guys. Good luck. Oh, Bosnia. How dare you. How dare you. The Mamluks. Oh, 60. 160 is what we got that up to. Fantastic. Oh, I love our allies right now. France, Muscovy, and the Mamluks. It's perfect. It really is. I just hope the Mamluks don't get taken out by these guys. And Yemen. They're getting pretty big, too. If anything, the Mamluks should go over here and take out Tunisia. That would really help them out, I think. Yeah, because they can definitely overpower them. Come on, kill them. Do it. Good. Thank you. And by the time you get back, our cannons should be uh, done. Perfect. Everybody head back. And we're going to wait on the one from Treviso, but that's okay. We'll wait. Come on, buddy. There you go. Late bloomer. Alright. And sit tight right there. So we got a stack of 25 right now. Oh. Execute. Oh, god damn it. I don't want to grab this one, though. I need my uh, prestige up. I'm going to take the stability hit. I know, it, I know it's going to be bad, but I cannot afford to lose prestige right now. To be honest, we were at 3 stability, so I'm not really worried about it. We just dropped down to two. That's not that bad. Not that bad at all. Okay, pretty much everybody can grab an idea, but I, I'm waiting on this. Come on, you can do it. We have one year left, essentially. So what do we improve that to? Negative 200. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, uh, boy. Um, let's see. Probably going to want to improve relations with France. Yep, let's do that. And... Ottomans. Yes, Ottomans. It's fine by me. We might as well do Hungary as well. I just want to make sure that these guys are kind of... I don't know. I just want to make sure improved relations are at full with these guys on my border. Because they don't like me. <laughs> and if I declare... Say I declare war on the people state. It leaves me open for them to attack me during that time. I, I don't really like that. And I, of course, want to build forts uh, pretty much everywhere over here. As soon as I can. Uh, probably I'll focus on the forts and the uh, the training fields right after I grab this uh, this tech. That'll be fine. Yeah, I definitely want level 3 forts everywhere. I don't trust anybody. 